understand one of the important concept, which is fractions. And we will start with the basic understanding of fraction, which is in decimal, which we are all comfortable with. So when you have a fractional number, what does that mean? Okay. So numbers on the left hand side of the decimal and numbers on the right hand side of the decimal, how do they differ from each other? So numbers on the right hand side of the uh, left hand side of the decimal, which are these one, two, three, four, the place value, how do you find the place value is that is four, uh, sorry, number into 10 raised to power n minus one, which is the place value. So if this is one, two, three, four, so this will be four into 10 raised to power zero, that means four into one, then three into 10, two into 100, and one into thousand. So this is very clear as in how, this is how you find the place value of a number when it's on the left hand side of the decimal. When it's on the right hand side of the decimal, it is the reverse. So basically here you are doing 10 raised to power zero. So here 10 raised to power n minus one. And this is just the reverse. This becomes 10 raised to power minus one. 10, so it's in the negative direction, 10 raised to the power minus 2 and 10 raised to the power minus 2. This is how decimal number are represented. So 0 0.5 is nothing but 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 1. And that is because this is the 0th place. So this is minus 1 place. Okay, so this is the 0th place, not the decimal. This is the minus one place. So five into 10 raised to the power minus one is what is 0 0.5 of the fact. This is how the fractional numbers are represented. So same way, binary fractions can be represented as well. So if you have, just a minute, let's say 0 0.1 in binary, this means it is two raised to the power minus one. Okay, so you have, Similarly, you can represent, so if it is 0 0.01, this is 2 raised to power minus 2 in binary and so on. So here, your base number system was 10. So you're doing 10 raised to power minus 1, 10 raised to power minus 2, 10 raised to power minus 3. Similarly, in binary, this will become 2 raised to power minus 1, 2 raised to power minus 2, and 2 raised to power minus 3. So it's equivalent to decimal number system, just that now it is binary. So the power will decrease 2 raised to power minus 1, 2 raised to power minus 2, and 2 raised to power minus 2. So this is how you represent binary fractions. So let's understand this in a little bit more details. This is the basic concept. So let's see, what is it? So let's say you have this binary fraction, okay? Numbers on the left hand side of the decimal will increase like 10 raised to uh, 2 raised to power 0, then 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, depending upon the place. So this is 0th place, first place, second place, and so on. On the right hand side of the decimal, they'll decrease by 2 raised to power minus 1, 2 raised to power minus 2, 2 raised to power minus 3, and 2 raised to power minus 4. So this will become 1 into 2 raised to the power minus 4, 1 into 2 raised to the power minus 3, 0 into 2 raised to the power minus 2, and 1 into 2 raised to the power minus 1. So you'll get all these numbers. This, 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 and this. And you add all these up, you will get a number in decimal, which is the equivalent of 0 0.6875. So this concept is a little bit complicated uh, initially if, if you're new to this. So let me revisit this again, but this is how you represent fractions in binary numbers. Okay. So let's, let me just uh, again, so go back to our school mathematics, decimal fract, whatever is on the left hand side of decimal number, are, this is 10 raised to power 0, 10 raised to power 1, 10 raised to power 2, 10 raised to power 3. And these are 10 raised to power minus 1, 10 raised to power minus 2, and 10 raised to power minus 3. So you 
basically represent this 7 into 10 raised to the power minus 3, 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 2, 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 1, 4 into 10 raised to the power 0, which is 4, 3 into 10 raised to the power 1, 10 raised to the power 2, which is 100, and 10 raised to the power 3, which is 1000. And then you all add of these up, you get your number, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, point five six seven. This is your fractional number in decimal. Similarly, in binary, you want to represent this number in fractions. The same thing applies, just that now, you, earlier your base was 10, now your base is 2. So whatever is here will be 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, and so on. And this will be 2 raised to power minus 1, 2 raised to power minus 2, 2 raised to power minus 3, and 2 raised to power minus 4. So 2 raised to power minus 1 means this is 1, 1 into 2 raised to power minus 1, which is 0 0.5. 0 into 2 raised to power minus 2 is 0. 1 into 2 raised to power minus 3 is 0 0.125 in decimal. 1 into 2 raised to power minus 4 is 0 0.625. So you add all of these up, and this is your get you corresponding number in decimal. So this number in decimal corresponding number is this. Okay. So this is how you represent fractions and you can convert those fractions into the equivalent decimal number in fractions. So let's say now we have this number. Okay. What will be its decimal number equivalent? Let's understand this. So this is zero, this is left to the decimal one, two, three. This will be minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. So this becomes one into two raised to power three. This is, then this becomes one into two raised to power two, zero into two raised to power one, of course, one into two raised to power zero. Okay. Now last four digits which is 0, 1, 1, 1. So let's just do for, uh, for easy, I'm writing it here again. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So 0 into 2 raised to 1 minus 1, 1 into 2 raised to 1 minus 2, 1 into 2 raised to 1 minus 3, and 1 into raised to 1, 2 minus 4. Now we add all, all of these up, 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0, this becomes 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16. You add all of these up and you get your corresponding decimal number for a binary fraction. Let's take one more example. So this, this is minus 1, minus 2. So 1 into 2 is 1 minus 1. 1 into 2 is 1 minus 2, so 0 0.5, 0 0.25, so the corresponding decimal number is 0 0.75. One more example, 11, okay? So this is 1, 2 is for 1, and 1, 2 is for 0. And we have 0, 0, 1. This is, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, Okay, so this is 0, this is 0, and 1 into 2 raised to the power minus 3, and this becomes, add you add all of these up, 2 plus 1 plus 0 0.125, and that's your number, binary fraction, converted into a decimal fraction. One more example, so this is 1011.111, so same way, 1 is to 2 raised to the power 3, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 0, then, which actually should be plus here, 0 0.111, the, this 2 raised to power okay, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So 1 into 2 raised to power minus 1, 1 into 2 raised to power minus 2, and 1 into 2 raised to power minus 3. You add all of these up, and you get your decimal number corresponding to binary fraction. So I, we covered a few examples. I hope this is clear to you. If there are more questions, Please type it in the chat window and we'll continue. Now, 
the so we have understood how to convert a binary fraction to a decimal fraction uh, fraction by using this 2 raised to power on the left hand side 0 1 2 3 on the right hand side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now let's do the reverse we have a decimal fraction we convert that into a binary fraction okay so first of all we will convert 3 to a decimal number the number which is on the left hand side of the what do you say left hand side of the decimal so we'll convert 3 how to convert a decimal number to binary we divide by 2 the remainder is 1 quotient is 1 and that's it so you get 1 most significant is lower 1 1 now in order to convert the number on the right hand side so here on the left hand side of the decimal we were dividing by 2 on the right hand side of the decimal we'll multiply by the 2 okay so and we'll see if this digit becomes 1 then we'll add 1 if not then we'll keep it as 0 so 2 multiply 2 by 0 0.703125 so it will become 1.40625 right and since this be what this became one we'll put it here now whatever is remaining we'll again multiply it by two it became this so we'll this is zero we'll keep it here again multiplied by two this became one put it here 62.5 into 2, this became 1, we'll keep it here. 0.25 multiplied by 2, this is 0, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, this became 1, and this became 0. So this became, this becomes our 101101 one, one, one in decimal. So on the, for left hand side of the decimal, you divide by 2, and this is how you convert it. On the right hand side of the decimal, you multiply by 2 and if after multiplication it moves over here then you basically moves over to the decimal uh, next to the decimal you type it you make it 1 otherwise you make it 0 so let's do this again one more time okay so let's do it one more time so that it's clear actually let me do it here so you 0 0.703125 you multiply it by 2 you will get 1.40625 since this became 1 you move it here and whatever is after decimal you move it here and divide it you multiply by 2 you get 0 0.8125 this is 0 so you move it here and 8125 you multiply again 0 0.8125 you multiply by 2 you get 1.6125 so 1 you move here and 0 0.625 you multiply by 2 you get 1.25 so 1 you move here and 0 0.25 you multiply by 2 you get 0 0.5 0 you move here and 0 0.5 you again multiply by 2 you get 1 and then 0 so nothing to be done more and this starting from this 101101 becomes your what do you call it uh, your uh, post decimal uh, number starting from most significant bit here 101101 and this 3 was 11 so this becomes your decimal binary rep fractional representation of that decimal number